I haven't seen you all day. Where have you been? Collecting field data? Oh, me? I've just been analysing this bacteria from the king penguin feather samples you've given me. Quite interesting. Okay, not all that interesting, but you get the idea. It's our jobs to figure out better insulation, because one billion dollar company wants researchers to figure out what is the best insulation we can find for some rich boy's coat, or whatnot. How long have you been working in the company anyways? Only three months? Why did they send you here? Eh, I guess it makes sense. Two people work better than one. We've been here together for at least two weeks already and we've barely talked. The only time our schedules lined up was last Sunday. I think the reason I don't see you often is because I prefer to be alone in my work. I mean, I've been here for five months already. I've been making good but slow progress and... Well, it's not like I have much back home. It's because no one really likes me. I don't care for them anyway. I like it up here. I have everything I need. Work, science and my own company. That reminds me, shouldn't you be going back out there? Oh, yeah, right. I forgot that you stay inside and do actual work. No, what you do is valuable. I can't stand the cold. Ironic how I ended up here. So just pull up a stool and get to work here. His half takes some sample and analyse it. Come back to me when you're done. Wait, it's been ten minutes, not even. How did you get this done? There's no way you came to a conclusion that fast. It's impossible. Let me check. Oh, just at the right time. It's dinner. Yes, it is. Why? What time do you eat dinner? 10 p.m.? That's absurd. I understand that your sleep schedule's a little off, but bear with me. I know how to cook. Now, let's eat something. What do we have today? Ah, beef and potato MREs. It's not as good as the real thing, but I like it anyways. I know how to make them taste better. The secret is a little bit of butter or fat. Yes, I know I could have just used the flameless heater that came with the MRE package, but this would taste better, obviously. What? No, I'm not annoyed. Just sit down and wait for dinner. Alright, here you go. Eat up. What do you mean it's not cooked right? Just eat. What do you mean, why am I sitting alone? This is where I normally sit, but I wouldn't expect you to know. Oh, you're heading back out to collect samples? Okay. I'm staying back here in the lab, so goodbye. Where have you been? It's nearly 11. You got lost? I thought you had GPS. It froze? No shit, it's cold out. I have even worse news than that. The heating went out. I'm not sure why I haven't checked. Just go and see if you can do anything about it if you're so smart. I'm going to bed. I've got a lot of work tomorrow. So, what did you find? You couldn't fix it? Ah, uh, damn it. What do you mean, why am I not in bed? I was standing here just in case I needed to hand you tools or you needed help or something. 
Well, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do now. According to some calculations I did when you were outside, the temperature will drop to an uncomfortable level in roughly five hours, so we're going to need to figure out some way to generate heat. What? Are you asking me to huddle to you for warmth? Be that as it may, but I have a master's in biology. I only stopped because I needed the money. Once I'm done at this job, I'll go back and earn my doctorate, unlike you with only a high school education. You should expect to see me in the morning for breakfast. Good night. Hey, wake up. I kind of need you for something. I don't want to say that I caved, just come here to my room. Okay, I just need you to lay in the same bed as me and... No, I am not caving. I'm just making a strategic reassessment. Now take off your shirt. Why? So we can transfer body heat easier. So just get in the bed so we can get on with this night. Whoa. Uh, nothing. I just didn't expect for you to look like that. No, I'm not blushing. I'm just red from the cold. Let me just get close to you with my back to your front. Okay, just get me a little closer to you and this will be better. Yes, I'm quite thin. That's the entire reason I don't want to go outside all that much. If you think I look cute, then that's your opinion. Just don't say it. Okay, let's just try get some sleep. Your hands and arms are very warm. I don't care if I'm talking, I'm just saying because... I don't know. What? Don't be ridiculous, I don't have a crush on you. Well, you are stronger and taller than me, and you have a sense of fearsome smarts for your education. I just... I just can't really explain it. I know I acted rudish to you, but those reports really threw me off. All this time I had a raging sense of superiority to you, and for a long time I liked the idea of being the smartest one at the facility, even if I was the only one. You really mean that? You really think I'm smart? I spent my entire life trying to prove it. I just don't really know to who. Thank you. I... I'm not sure why I did that, but your back is huge. You're welcome. I'm... uh... I'm not really sure why I did that. Just... I don't know what I should do now. What do you mean you know what I should do? I... that... No, no, it was perfect. I've been wanting to say this since the power went out, but... I love you. There's just something so special about you and your strong will. It's kind of like I'm drawn to your strength. You're right. I think we can get a lot more done if we work together. I don't understand. You want me to be a little... Mm. Yeah, I, I think I understand fully now. Tomorrow I want to make the two of us a nice breakfast. I'm not sure if we're going to be getting work done as much as before, but I know that we're going to be having some company. Why I'm so affectionate now? I guess it's because I haven't seen anyone in months, and only now I have something I actually care about. My work is something that can get done. It comes to an end eventually, but a relationship with you might not. Now go to sleep. 
We have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Can I get one more before bed? Good night, my beloved.